Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Classic Tycoon here and we're back for a new career mode series on Planet Coaster Console Edition. Today we're going to take a look at Golpi's Island Paradise. This is a medium difficulty scenario. Looks like we've gotten 33 out of 72 stars on our scenario journey here. So we've got a long way to go. Lots more uh, content to be made, a lot of more um, missions to be completed. Uh, but I'm having fun doing it, so let's keep plugging away at this. And we'll see exactly what we've got in store for us today. So, let's see, Golpi wants to turn this remote beat front into a theme park, but has no idea how to do it. Um, can you help? It's going to take skillful management and a full staff roster to keep everything running smoothly. Ah, I think this one is going to be a bit of an upward struggle. My good friends at Gulpy want to turn this beachfront into a theme park. I think they're expecting a genuine miracle from you. They've been given some pretty spectacular promises about your abilities. From me. Sorry. There may have been boasts about plentiful staff rooms and efficient work rosters. Well... At least our friends here will get to look at some pretty scenery while they try to cash all those checks your mouth wrote, Oswald. All right, so it looks like this one's going to be based around having good uh, staff management. So right off the bat, it, it kind of warns us about security, dealing with pickpockets and, and vandalism. So uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Let's check out our objectives here. So our easy star or bronze star we need to attract 500 guests keeping them at 60 percent happiness um but i think the main thing is these employee or employer employee um goals is going to be the difficult thing so at, at bronze we need five vendors at 60 percent happiness i think at medium we need 10 vendors at 70 percent happiness and then at hard we need 15 vendors at 80 percent happiness um, so we'll kind of just go for it here as, as usual. I think the best way to go about this is to start getting the park functioning. Um, and then you can worry about these because as far as I've seen, um, there hasn't been really any time constraints on any of this. So I think in this first episode, we'll just kind of naturally build the park um, and see if we can get these goals done by doing so. So we, this is kind of a cool map. I like it. And it's got this kind of beachy island, um, abandoned castles, uh, kind of mountainous, I don't know, maybe like a Hawaii type feel sort of. Um, and so it's got a good look to it. And a lot of spaces open for rides already, so I, th I think we'll just start out by throwing in a few cheap rides, getting some revenue coming into the park, so that we can start focusing on hiring staff and and um, building facilities and, and everything that we need. So we've got a few gentle rides and a couple extreme rides, nothing in the just regular intensity, um, but let's see if we can Start us off, as usual, with one of these gentle rides. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the teacups here. Um, we'll see if we can find a good spot for it. Lots of these kind of pre-built buildings. You know, I'm not sure what this one... Like, it seems like they have something in mind with these. Like, maybe I should put a shop up at the top of that or something. Uh, we'll figure that out later. We do have a couple of shops built. Looks like this one does not have a vendor. Um, but we'll we'll look at that more in a moment. So let's let's get these teacups built. So we've got a nice open space here. Now this, this is seeming to be probably just a little bit big for this area. Why don't we try out a different one? All right, 
we'll, we'll go ahead and go with this ride, the Monte Leon. And that fits, I think, basically perfectly. Um, we'll definitely be coming in and filling in this uh, ride and all the other rides that we throw in today, we'll, we'll throw in scenery later, I think, to add some prestige to them. But for now, I just want to get some rides going. Let's see what's going on with our staff right now. Uh, we got three janitors. Uh, we got one vendor, and then we've got one entertainment guy. So we'll see what we want to do with that entertainer later. Uh, we only, we've only got one vendor, and he's running this stand right here. So obviously we've got one, one that's closed. That's a looks like it's a gulpy soda. So that's just gonna sit here and lose profit. So we either gotta close it so that it doesn't lose profit, or we gotta hire somebody to fill it up. I think that's what we'll do. Why don't we hire a vendor to fill it up? So now we've got two vendors um, for our two buildings. I also just wanted to check and make sure we see how many buildings we do have. We do have a staff building right here, right next to our vendor. So, you know, that'll be good for them. They'll have a, a good space to take a break. Uh, right now, I'm not going to put a perk on this building because it costs a little bit of money. I mean, it's nothing ridiculous or anything like that, but we'll, we'll add that in in the future when we're a little bit more comfortable as far as our money is concerned. Okay, so this ride's filling up. It's getting uh, some guests to come into the park. So we'll, we'll want to throw in while we've got a little bit of cash and a couple more rides. So why don't we go with this? I don't know how to pronounce this. Wisehorn is my guess. Wisehorn. We do have some scenery around here, um, mostly just like this, this fence. So we'll we'll put in the queue and the exit, and then we'll get rid of this fence, this broken fence right here, because it is a nice spot for a ride. Okay. Couple of gentle rides going. Guest count over 200 now, so we do have quite a few coming into the park. Um, right here, I was kind of looking for a vending machine, but all I see are ATMs. Let's go to the leisure section. I, I only see hotels. Maybe if we go to custom and, and check out what we've got here. And nothing under the gifts category either or the amusements. So I think we're gonna have to probably research these things. All right, looks like some guests are heading over this way, so we're gonna have some even distribution. But that's because we only have two rides right now and they're kind of on opposite ends of the park. Again, I'm just checking out this building here. We'll have to figure out what we wanna do with that in the future. I am thinking maybe like a restaurant. Maybe that could be a custom restaurant or something. So 500 guests with happiness of 
think that's going to be pretty easy. To a park value of 15,000, employ five vendors with 60% average happiness and a minimum of seven staff. Um, have no staff leave for two months. So you basically just don't want anyone to quit. Yeah, the, these definitely take a, a step up in difficulty. Train 10 staff to expert on the hard end. You know, that's, that's a lot of staff. It's a lot of staff. Um, but as we grow our park, we'll, we'll need more, more and more staff. So let's incrementally do it. We have a couple of loans available to us. Looks like the game has already given us um, a $10,000 loan. But we only had around five thousand dollars at the start, so it's they're making it tricky. All right, let's throw in one of these extreme rides so that some of our guests have something a little bit more exciting to ride. The Pathos Three looks like it's it's good to go. All right, lots of guests flooding over here to this new ride. That should be a good money maker for us. Shop Gold Pea Soda has been empty for a while. We do have some families coming over here and eating. Um, so why don't we go ahead and hire another vendor since guests are actually using the, the services. And we'll, we'll want to have a couple of extra vendors on hand. That way there's always someone available when the shops are empty. Let's also, we'll go in and take a look at our, our staff right now. And I think a good way to, to come in and sort them is to just kind of look at their thoughts, see what they're thinking, check out their happiness levels. I tend to like to, at least it, it, in so far as I've played this game, um, kind of order them by their workload and then check out what's going on with the lower workload staff. I feel like if they have a medium workload, they're, they're more likely to be happy. Um, and if they have a low workload, then we got to look at, you know, why do these guys have a low workload? So. None of these guys are trained. I think I've just got too many janitors right now, so I'm going to get rid of one. I'll fire that guy. And all of my other staff are at medium levels, so we'll do that for now. Here we see this sad janitor. This must be the one that we just fired. He's taken off. All right, Fi over 500 guests now. They're pretty good, even distribution of guests. Um, I was thinking about building this star wheel or Helion ring or whatever it's called. Um, well, I, I, I don't 
think that's a good spot for right at the moment. It's also a little dark here, kind of hard to see when it comes around nighttime. Why don't we set up the brightness or set the, the lighting so that it's always daytime? That way it's just a lot easier to see what's going on. Lots of nice scenery here that you could throw, you know, we could put a, a shop in there later. It's pretty cool animatronic stuff. Um, again, we don't have any gift shops at all and that would be, that, that would maybe be a good spot for, you know, a hat stall or something like that. So, we're going to want to get that stuff researched. In fact, why don't we go in and and take a look at our research, see what we have available to us. Start with facilities. We do have a Looney Balloons and small attractions. So they're, they're with the small attractions. I like those because it's it's all profit, very easy, cheap to build. So we'll, we'll get that going. And then a gift stall that's going to help us hire more staff and have more staff to manage. Cool. All right, I kind of want to see what kind of track rides we have available to us. River Rapids. This looks like a pretty good map that we could do a River Rapids ride on. We've got, uh, got that lake going around. Let's check out the boundaries of the park here. So kind of honestly a far cry from the last build. The shops and traps. By the way, I just hired a security guard if you didn't see. Um, much 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 more area to build here now granted a lot of it is the lake or river or pond or whatever you want to call that um so we'll have to build on on top of the river but i think that will make some for some good rides and i think we can build one of these whitewater rafting rides the rolling river i think we can build one of those uh, just right on top of the water. And we see that notification I just got that said guest happiness is declining. So I wanted to take a look at that. It's still at 85%. It, it dropped by 0.01%. <laughs> so I'm, as of now, I'm not too worried about it. They're mostly, looks like they're complaining that they wish they had more rides. So we've got to try and give that to them. And then I'm just going to, you'll see me pop in every now and again um, just to check on each of the workers, make sure things are okay with them. Right now, I think everything looks good enough. Kind of a cool little area here. Uh, it looks like they're hinting at building a bridge across this area, so we'll do that in the future. This would be a nice spot for a ride, maybe an entrance for a coaster or something. Got a cool cave back there. That one's not really a functional cave, just for decoration. Okay. So I think I'd like to build this rolling river ride. The equivalent of this in Roller Coaster Tycoon is obviously the River Rapids. And I've never built one of these in Planet Coaster, so we'll see what's available to us. I 
right here I was just deciding where I wanted the entry to go, which direction I wanted to face, and I, I think going this way um, around the river will be best. And you'll see me struggle a little bit right here I, as I do some park management. Oh yes, I'm going to take a loan, by the way, um, so we have enough money to build this. But I was, I was struggling right here a little bit because I wanted to try and build, like, incorporating these little, like, cave formations and stuff. I just, I don't think it's, there's any way that it's possible. So I gave up on that fairly quickly. And then a lot of this, I'm just, you know, looking through the pieces, seeing what's available. Um, honestly, not much variety on the River Rapids. You know, in, in Roller Coaster Tycoon, you've got, like, waterfalls and spin uh, sections where they've got, like, whatever you would call those. I can't remember what they're called, but they're, like, kind of... Um, uh, man, what's what's the word? You know, like a, a, not a tornado, but essentially, right, in the water where it'll spin the spin the boat around, causing it to to turn. There's not anything like that in this game. You pretty much just got the widening of the river and rapids. You can do some pretty cool drops, like you can see that I, I did there. I like that you can turn the, the ride while it's dropping. I think that works pretty good. And I do like being able to make the river wider. It gives the chance to, it gives the boat a chance to kind of bounce around a little bit. Now what I'd, I'd like to do in the future when we have some money is come in here and decorate this thing. Maybe build some cliffs around it, waterfalls, um, that sort of thing. But we're, we're losing money at the moment. Um, at best, we're, we're kind of breaking even. So I think our money is going to be better spent elsewhere for now. But at some point, we're going to want to start increasing the prestige of our park and our rides to help keep guests interested. And at that point, I, we'll do a lot of decorating, even on you know all those little rides that we built earlier. So there's the rapids, as you see. Then I just like having a couple of drops. Simple enough, we'll let these get back um, to the entrance and see what kind of ratings we're looking at. You saw the ratings, but it's like a, a little over a four, so not the most exciting ride. But I mean, when you're watching that, it doesn't look like it's the most exciting thing either.
All right. So we've opened it up. Let's check and make sure guests are coming in. Looks like they are. Looks like we're good there. Now we do have a lot of boats. And when I tested it, it seemed like it was about the perfect amount of boats. But now as guests are hopping on, it's taking longer for the boats to launch. And even as we see these boats starting to come back, there's they're coming back a little bit too quickly and guests are getting stuck behind. So I think we're gonna want to decrease the number of boats on the ride, which is a little bit frustrating. Um, we're gonna have to re test it I, I really really wish in these games that you could change the number of you know in this case rafts or cars or whatever it is and not have to stop the ride um, or especially not have to retest it so now we have to retest the entire thing just to get the same ratings that we already knew just so that we can open it up Okay, so now it's open with 15 boats instead of 20. We'll see how that goes. All right, so we've got our our guests, 500 guests, 60% happiness. Now, it looks like our guest count has dropped, right? 400, um, so we're, we're not even close to that 500 mark right now. Looks like our ride broke down, so we need a mechanic. Um, but the game has kept our achievement, essentially, for that. So that's good. One thing I've noticed about Planet Coaster is they're a little bit more ruthless as far as guests not being interested in your park um, if you're slow to build new rides. Right here, I just do a little some management with the load rules. You know, I don't want empty boats sitting there too long, so I kind of mess with that a little bit as the episode goes on. It still seems like 15 boats might be a bit much. We still have a lot of guests sitting. And then we've also got some guests getting stuck at the exit there. So we're going to have to fix that in a little bit. Um, looks like we, our research is done here. So we can get a couple more shops opened up. Or at least one Looney Balloons open up would be good. Just looking at the different options, but I think the pirate villa will best fit this island theme scenario. It's really not a pirate theme either, though. It's kind of just like an abandoned island type feel, I feel like. Um... Get rid of some of these planks. Whoops. I don't really like the look of that personally. So, why don't we actually get rid of that? I don't like those balloons just kind of hanging over awkwardly over this abandoned building. So, we'll get rid of it. And I think we'll just throw in a, um, a custom one and just fill in this little archway with it instead. Just like this. And that'll be our balloon stall. I probably should come in and throw a sign on the front of that. But just like everything else, we'll just deal with that later. Now 
And again, our, our boats are just backing up here. And it looks like they're backing up by about five. So I think reducing the number of rafts one more time. I think if we go with 10 rafts, that will hopefully be a good amount. But once again, we're going to have to test it. Reopen it. And I do want to fix these pathways as well. I'm going to switch sides as far as the entrance and the exit go. Good work keeping everyone happy without breaking the bank. You know, your performance has really continued to impress me. We're actually getting a better return on our investment in you than I do on my portfolio. Tom, you say? I suppose in some ways, our friend here is like a boomerang. You have to throw them at just the right angle. And I don't know why I ever thought that that was going to work as an analogy. Why do you keep doing that, Oswald? Oh, it just feels so good when they make sense. Okay, so we've reached our bronze goal. Even though our guest count kind of dropped quite a bit. Now it's going back up again. I don't know what the deal is with that there. Um, probably because I keep closing and reopening this River Rapids ride. Again, just taking a, a look at our money in the bottom left. We do have two loans taken out right now, and we're... We've spent through it all, and we're having a hard time making money. Right right now, it looks like we're kind of in the, the green a little bit, or in the black. Um, well, I don't know. Now it looks like we're losing money. So we're really teetering on our profits here. So we're going to have to really take a look at that and try to, try to get more profit in the next episode. But... With that said, I think we're going to wrap it up here. This will be episode one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, please give me a like. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.